Hello, this is Sausage Fingers, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on exactly how to install Voice Attack and a HCS voice profile. Okay, here we go. I've never done a tutorial this long, so bear with me. Right, first things first, very importantly, probably the most important step, open up your control panel. Switch to small icons is my favourite. Now, I'm looking for speech recognition. This, I cannot emphasize enough how important this this is train your computer to understand you better right we'll go for all that i am now speaking to my computer the computer is learning the sound of my voice as i speak this will help the computer recognize what i say better More about tips look in the help documentation for speech right that's that finished I would run through that four or five times, especially with my accent. It hates the way I speak, but voice attacks and HCS does not make any mistakes with me whatsoever because I've run through that a few times. Okay, we're going to do voice attack first. So here we go. Voice attack, voiceattack.com. There you go, voice attack. Download. Right, you're going to have to purchase it first, obviously. I'm not going to make you suck eggs. You know how to buy stuff. So once you've bought that, go to the download and download the, the beta version, not the normal version. Okay, once it's done, I am going to, in fact, let's just install it. I need to install it anyway. Install it where it says to install it. That's very important later on. Launched. Okay. Because you bought it, you will receive a registration key, probably by email. Right, that being done, let's press OK. Yay, validation successful. Thank you and have fun. Thanks very much. Voice attack works best with a properly trained speech engine. This is when it's telling you to do that bit that we've done in the beginning. Okay, close. When we run voice attack, every time we run it, we are going to run it as, as an administrator. Now, I'm going to close this and show you. Run as administrator. Every single time you run it, you will run it as an administrator. At the moment, I have no profiles. We will sort that out very soon. Next step, we are going to download and install the HCS voice profile. That is where you get them. HCSvoicepacks.com. Okay. Now, for most of these, you get two for one, basically. You usually get the Elite Dangerous one and the Star Citizen one, even though you don't ask for them. So we're going to go to Star Citizen. And again, choose your voice pack. Choose it wisely. Pay your pennies. And then I have already bought it. So you will not receive a download. You will receive an email. Once you have received your email, then you will receive your key with it as well. When the game updates and they change the key commands, they will then send you an updated voice profile. So you won't have to mess around with keys. You will just install the new one. Here we go. Press on the download link. My license key is hidden because I do not want you to see it. I'm going to download it and not save it to Dropbox. Right, so we're all finished. Again, extremely important point. Install it where it tells you to install it. This is important. Okay, once you open that folder, this is what you are faced with. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go straight to the README. If you already have voice attack software and have trained Microsoft speech recognition, skip to step four. Make sure voice attack software is closed. Run the voice pack plugins. Install plugins.exe first. Here we go. This is important as well. The plugins are required to run the voice packs. It will also allow for you to change your in-game key bindings for Elite Dangerous, plus allow for the very best and immersive fun responses. Yeah, right. Tick the op option, enable plugin support in voice attack. That's that bit done. Here we go. I 
accept. Okay, there's my serial number and all that stuff. Let's put this in. There we go, we're done. A massive thank you to Kate Russell. Okay, so now we're getting down to the meat of it. Right, let right click, run as administrator. Always run it as an administrator. It just saves so much aggro. You can already hear it picking up my voice from my microphone. Here we go. Now, step one. Enable plugin support. Extremely important. Okay. Now, close voice attack. Then restart it. There we go. Now we are gonna. Oi! I don't want. Yeah, I don't want Elite Dangerous in there. This also works for Elite Dangerous, by the way, and Star Citizen. So now we're gonna put a new profile in here. Import profile. Eighty-six. Voice attack. Sounds. HCS pack Kate. Profiles. Star Citizen. And we are going to go for the full house. You can import both of these, actually. Now I'm going to do the other one as well, because we can just switch between the two. Import. Same again. Basic as well. Now they are both imported into there. Right, we're gonna to change to full house profile. Now to see if this is working. Game focus. Kate online. It is literally as easy as that. Right, now before we start the game, there's one more thing we have to do, and this is important because I found this is different with different voice packs. If you find that it won't respond to you, it is usually the fact of this. Game focus. Some voice packs start up with your voice, some of them don't, i.e. Kate doesn't. She used to, but she doesn't anymore. So make sure you click on this before we go into the game. Now it's listening. Lights on. Lights on. There we go. Happy days. As soon as I've launched that, I always close that. I don't know why. I just do. Okay, so here we are in the Persistent Universe. Now let's check it out. There are a couple of commands which you can use when you're not on the ship, but they are all in-ship commands. For instance, open Moby Gloss. Displayed. Close Moby Gloss. Affirmative, standby. Obviously, the more you run through that window speech recognition, the more it will recognise you. There is a thing called overrun. If I keep talking and then just say open Moby Gloss, then she won't understand me. You've got to have a distinct, just like a one second pause between you when you start and when you say your command. Open Moby Gloss. Acknowledge. Close Moby Gloss. As you wish. That way you don't get the overrun. Now, let's get on board. If someone don't nick it first. Lift off. Take off. Oh, he's landing gear. Gear coming up. As you can see, it is working really well. There is one more thing I would like to show you that is not in Star Citizen that is actually on the voice attacks itself. Now, if you want to know exactly what commands you can use, just press this button here. This will give you a list of absolutely every single word that, that Kate can say to you. There is an interaction mode. I'm not saying use Kate. There are numerous different voice packs. And as you can see, there are one or two in that section. HUD mode. There are literally thousands of commands. There is a full Galactopedia, as it were. You can ask her questions about the different systems and the law on Star Citizen. I'm not going to harp on about that. That is for you to discover. But if you get stuck, you can just print them out. I, I made myself a little cheat sheet for the first couple of weeks I was playing and it worked really well. Well, I hope that helped. If it did, give us a like and a subscribe and I will see you soon. Last thing. Engage jump drive. Hyperspace jump engaging.
Layers. <laughs>